Okay, continuing with our uh, look at the Andalusian cadence, this time we want to look at it from the standpoint of the Phrygian, or the Spanish Phrygian, to be more precise. We've looked at it uh, two ways already. One, from the viewpoint of uh, the major scale. Uh, in We've been dealing with it uh, primarily in the uh, uh, key of uh, C major, or its relative minor, A minor. Here's a C. And if we just change the bass over here to A, then we get A minor. And that's how we've learned to find it from a major. We just go down a minor third, and now we're into it. Once we have the minor chord, we go down a step for a major, down another step for a major, down another step for a major or a Phrygian. Or even a suspended with a Phrygian. Here they have, that's the Phrygian of flat nine, and the A there on the third string, it's a suspension. Several ways that we've been looking at it. The other uh, uh, is from the standpoint of the minor. Now, uh, backtracking uh, from the standpoint of the major, uh, we saw that it's six, five, four. Three. The sixth chord in major, the five chord, which is dominant, the fourth chord, and the three played with as a major. From the standpoint of the tonic minor, we saw it as the uh, tonic or root or one to flat seven, to flat six, to five, to one. Now, the other way to look at it is from the standpoint of the Phrygian. And the Phrygian makes the one now the E. Okay. So what's happening is when you play the progression, you're starting from the one and you're going to four minor. A minor is the four chord. Okay. Then the G becomes flat. The F becomes flat too. Cadence in Phrygian is flat two to one. F to E. Okay, in the key of A Phrygian, it's B flat to A. alternative cadence uh, is very closely related to that in the Phrygian mode and that if we look at the B flat for a second and we just move the bass over here to G then we get G we raise the bass half step and then we get a chromatic line So G minor. Now what's this chord? Well, this chord is really B flat seven with a flat seven in the bass. Here's a B flat out of a G shape. G, G sharp, A, B flat. Now if I take the root, here the B flat down, here's the major seventh. 
and there's the minor seventh. So there's the chord. Okay, so this is like G minor, which is a form of B e flat. It's like B e flat with six in the bass. If you want to think of it that way. But it's G minor, B e flat seven to A. Or A flat nine, seven flat nine. Put the flat nine in the bass. Okay, in uh, E, it would be if we had E, the main cadence is F to E. Now here I'm playing it F, C, there's the flat seven, and I put a ninth in there. Hear that? for any shape that's that's played like this. For instance, uh, on the fifth with fifth string root, here's B. Okay, so A minor, C7. Seven or A minor raise the root basis half step into B. Okay. See this is C seven now. Here's C. Walking that bass down. Okay. There's the third, the fifth, and the roots. So now it's flat seven. the chord fuller like this. Okay, this is the F7 with three in the bass. Three flat seven. Okay, three's double there. And here's the triad on top. A, F, C. Down here you could play the D minor this way. You could raise the D a half step into E. So again, it's four, flat three, two, one. If we're in A, it's four, flat three, two, one. Any way you can find it, any way you can put it. So that gives us three different ways to look at the Andalusian cadence from the standpoint of the parent major scale, from the standpoint of the starting chord being a tonic minor, and from the standpoint of the turnaround chord, because it's really that E here that turns it around back up to the A, because E is the 5 of, of A, 5 chord 1, 5 chord 1, from the standpoint of the E and the Phrygian. So we've looked at it uh, three different ways, uh, the same exact chord progression.